this is Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I am here with this week's find of the week. I'll give you a sneak peek and a hint. So these are made close to home for me. Being in New Mexico, uh, Native American pot pottery is very, very common, and we live in the Mecca for Native American pottery. But these are exceptionally cool because they're storytellers. And Helen Cordero back in the 60s actually made the very first storyteller. She's the mother of all storytellers and created them for the first time and sold them. And of course they were made after a maternal figure to represent a maternal figure and babies. And they were initially called the singing mothers. Helen went on and made one um, to represent her beloved grandfather and so you will also see some that have masculine um, figures, a grandfather or something like that with babies. And so they're, they're going to have their mouth open because they're telling stories and they're going to have babies all around them or children. And so now you have artists that make storytellers with animals, um, grandparents, mothers, grandmothers, and they'll have babies. They'll have babies and animals and all kinds of different things on them. Um, they're very, very detailed pieces, so you have to look closely. Of course, the larger they are, the more detailed they are, the more babies they are, typically the more valuable they are. This piece is fairly large. This is one of my favorites. Just because it is fairly large, I think she's about 15 inches tall. But the neat piece, the neat thing about this one, and I've never seen this before, is this headdress is removable. So the headdress actually comes off and slides right back in, which is pretty incredible. And then, of course, you can see the detail. Now, this is a classic um, piece. And those of you that follow and know storytellers know probably by looking at this piece, this is marked on the bottom Cheyenne Jim. And the artist is actually, her name is Diane Lynn, but they will always be marked Cheyenne Jim on the bottom. But, you know, typically, depending upon the artist, you will always have different common things that you see that make them signature pieces and easy to recognize. And for her, it's really the facial features, um, the little buttons that you see here, you know, are classic on her pieces. Um, and lots of times the coloring. And this is like a terracotta color. And she's actually out of the Taos Pueblo. And if you have not been to New Mexico, you have not been to Taos, you are missing out. We live in an incredible state that is so diverse and so different. Um, I remember as a kid growing up in Albuquerque, we would go up to the Pueblo, um, you know, and take family um, to visit up at the Pueblo. And I remember there would be, they make fried um, Indian bread on the side of the road, fried Indian tacos. If you have never had an Indian taco, you are truly missing out. I miss that so much now living in the southern part of the state. I never get that. So you've got to visit. So if you look, I think there's about eight babies on this piece. And you can see they're tucked everywhere. There's one tucked underneath her wrap. They are tucked all around the back of her neck. There you can see them. That's what makes these pieces so beloved and great collector's items because you can display them anywhere and they're great conversation pieces to put on a table put in the living room um, and who doesn't like babies so you can see she's got them all wrapped around her neck she's got them um, another one underneath her shawl and then you come around to the front and I'm sorry my nails are absolutely atrocious it's COVID-19 and I'm trying to limit my appointments and keep us all safe. I help take care of a 93 year old friend and it's just rough on everybody, isn't it? It'll be nice when we can get back to normal. So anyway, we have an entire collection of storytellers because they're one of my favorite things to collect and have on the website by various artists. 
over at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we have all kinds of great stuff. So be sure and go check us out. Give us a like on Facebook. And until next time, have a wonderful week and stay safe.